everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. Today I like to show you my top 10 favorite red lipsticks. I did a video a while back about my favorite nude lipsticks and I had 15 of those, but this time I have my top 10. It was really hard to narrow it down, but as I was going through them, there were several that you couldn't find anymore. But I narrowed it down to the top 10. There are different finishes, different shades of red. I don't have my makeup consultant with me this time because we all know he loves red lipsticks, so he's gonna say, oh, I love that one, I love that one. And I already got him in two other lip swatches videos. Hopefully that will be out before this one. If not, they'll be after after this video. But this time my husband or my makeup consultant is not here this time. But that's okay. And red lipsticks could be a statement. You can have a no makeup look and apply a good red lipstick and you're good to go. And also a red lipstick is perfect for the holiday season. So I hope that this video will help you with these red lipsticks. So all right, let me go ahead and zoom you in and we'll get started. Let's start with Lisa Eldridge and these are the True Velvet Lip Color. These cost $36 and they are in the matte formula and I do have two lipsticks here from Lisa Eldridge. So let's start with this one, Velvet Ribbon, and this is a beautiful red shade. One of my favorites actually. So again, this one's Velvet Ribbon. And with the Lisa Eldridge, you need to be careful not to twist it all the way to the top because it does kind of break off. So just leave it down like that and hopefully that will be okay. I mean, it goes on very beautifully. And this is such a beautiful blue red. And this formula is very comfortable on the lips, even though it's a matte formula, it's not drying at all. And her formula stays on, especially if you have the lip pencils and you add that to the lipstick in the same shade, it will stay on for a good while. But here is Velvet Ribbon. It's a vibrant, universal, classic, neutral blue red. And I have to say, a red lipstick with a bronze eye look, yes, give me that every day. So luckily I did do a bronze eye look. <laughs> Next is Velvet Jazz, another beautiful red. This one's a little bit deeper. Yeah, look at that. And if you want to go deeper with a bronze eye look, this looks great too. A muted earthy brick red inspired by the 1930s red lipsticks. Let's move on to Guerlain, and this is one of the new ones that they came out with. And this is the 16 hour wear velvet metal lipsticks. And you'll see why it's called the metal lipsticks. So the one that I have is number 214 exotic red. And I hope that you can see the swatch that it does have a metallic finish to it. And even though this is a velvet lipstick, it's not very drying. It doesn't look matte. It just has that metallic finish to it. And this is a beautiful shade, 214 exotic red. And this is a vibrant red with a brick tone. These do cost $34 and the cases that came in this collection resembles the wings of a butterfly and that is where they get the name the metallic lipstick because it does have reflections of butterfly wings. Very pretty lipstick, very pretty finish. And I forgot to mention before I took the lipstick off that this is the shade that y'all picked out for me. In a video, I asked you which shade would you like to see out of the collection of, th of six and 214 one out. So I went ahead and got this shade and it's one of my favorites. Very pretty, very pretty red. I have another one here by Guerlain and this is shade number 219. And one of you subscribers sent this one to me and it's one of my favorite shades too. This one is number 219, Cherry Red. And this one comes in the velvet finish and it's not very drying, it has a nice slip and it's very comfortable on. And yeah, it does look like a cherry red. Now let's move on to this brand, Besame, and I have three of her red lipsticks. Another great formula, I should say. I mean, it's very pigmented, it's very comfortable on the lips, and she knows her red shades. So let's start with this one, Red Velvet. And let me show you the casing first. It's her iconic packaging with the dome top, gold and red, and has the flowers all around it. And when you open it up, the bullet, well, it's almost pointed. It's shaped to the point where both sides are flat, and there's corners on each either side to where you can line your lips with them. And then you fill in the lips with the flat side. So let me swatch red velvet. Another beautiful red there. And this is another one that's in the matte formula, very comfortable on the lips. And how she suggests we apply her lipsticks is that you apply it once, then you blot it with a Kleenex, and then you apply it again. But I'm just gonna apply it once because I need to take it off to apply more red lipsticks. You can see it's very pigmented, and I do like the sharp corners. Another beautiful red, and I know a lot of these look similar, but 
you know, they could be off by a shade or two. The finish may be off. Pigmentation is different with each of these brands. But Red Velvet is another beautiful red shade. And she does a lot of research with these red lipsticks. She goes back to the 20s, 30s, 40s, 60s, 70s, even the 90s. But Red Velvet was from 1946. And it's a delicious deep red with a neutral undertone. And it says here that this shade was worn by Hayley Atwell while playing Peggy Carter on the series Agent Carter. I mean, what can I say? Another beautiful beautiful red lipstick. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. <laughs> Next is Red Hot Red. And let me tell you, this is a Red Hot Red. So here's the swatch there of Red Hot Red. Now this one came from 1959. This true fire engine red hue was Marilyn Monroe's favorite, delivering a saturated, vibrant red with a warm yellow tone base. And it also says perfect for building bombshell level confidence. And yeah, I'm feeling a little confident here with this red lipstick, this fire engine red. Now I know I said 10 shades, but I want to add this one here as an honorable mention. It's also by Besame Cosmetics and this one's Chocolate Kiss. It's not really a true red, I would say it's more of a brown red. So here is Chocolate Kiss, the honorable mention. So here is Chocolate Kiss and it does look like uh, chocolate. And this shade was more prominent in 1970. The turn of the decade from the mod 60s to hippie 70s. It's more of a neutral color with barely bare makeup. I would say this is more of a subdued brick red with some brown undertones. I think it's very pretty and I just wanted to mention this one here as an honorable mention. I have two from Chanel in the Rouge Coco Blooms formula. I do like this formula. I do like the red lip shades in here. Now this one's 140 Alive. You can see that it has some sheen to it. This formula is very comfortable on the lips, has a nice lip. Now this one doesn't stay as long as the other ones from Lisa Eldridge, Besame, or even the Guerlain Velvet Lipsticks. But it's such a pretty shade, very light on the lips, and I do like that slip. You can kind of feel that there's like an oil base to it. Very hydrating. So this is number 140, Alive. A blue-red with a beautiful satin finish. The other one is 144, Unexpected. So here is that one. This one's more of a deeper brick red, and I think it's very pretty. All these shades are very pretty. And again, with this finish, very comfortable on the lips. So even though this one that I'm wearing right now and Velvet Jazz from Lisa Eldridge, they're similar in tone, but they have different finishes. So if you want a matte red look, you can use Lisa Eldridge lipstick. If you want more of a sheen, very hydrating, you can use the Chanel one. This one's number 144, Unexpected, which is a deep blood red with a satin finish. Next is this one by Charlotte Tilbury in the Kissing Formula, and this is So Red. Let's put you right here, and look at that beautiful shade. Very pretty. And the Kissing Formula is another one that's very comfortable on the lips, has a nice slip, very hydrating on the lips. Charlotte Tilbury So Red is a satin finish with a blue-red tone, and So Red is So Red. And I'm saving the deepest one for last. Put you here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, that's pretty. Now this one's in the satin finish and it is very pricey. It is Hermes. This one costs $69. So I probably saved the, the expensive and the darkest for last. But the Hermes lipsticks are another one that's very comfortable on the lips, very pigmented, and has a beautiful slip to it. On the Hermes website, it says it was created in 1925 for leather. It's the emblematic color of the house of Hermes. A very elegant dark red with a hint of brown, verging on burgundy. So here are my 10 plus the honorable mention red lipsticks that I love to wear. Different finishes, different formulas, different brands, and you can't go wrong with a good red lipstick. And I can't decide which one is my favorite. Maybe Rouge H because I do like the tone of it, but Charlotte Tilbury's So Red is also another very pretty one. Again, these two are Lisa Eldridge, Guerlain, Best Made Cosmetics, Chanel, Charlotte Tilbury, and Hermes. So here are my 10 plus one more of my favorite red lipsticks. So now I've done a video of my favorite nude lipsticks and favorite red lipsticks. I don't have that many pink lipsticks, believe it or not. Maybe two or three, and if they are pink, they're more of a deep berry pink. And they would fall more into my nude category, I guess you could say. So I don't think I'll be making my favorite pink lipsticks because I don't have that many, honestly. But I hope you enjoyed my nude lipstick video and this one, my favorite red lipsticks. Well, all right, you guys, I really did hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.